Hello valued viewers, I hope you're doing wonderfully well. We recently got two Chinese ballistic missiles in DCS, the DF-26B and the DF-21D, both with anti-ship capability. Last week we did this battle. Could THAAD and Patriot defend Guam from 200 of these Chinese DF-26 missiles. That was a good fight, but you guys have asked for an attack where we use the ballistic missiles against a US carrier group. So today we answer the age-old question that has been asked for thousands of years. How many Chinese ballistic missiles would it take to strike a US carrier group? The setup is as simple as it can be. East China Sea here, Chinese East Coast here, DF-26B launches here and an AWACS here and a US carrier group here. The US carrier group is 200 miles from the China coast. I put it in what I would consider the best defensive format for this battle. Uh, a super carrier there, a destroyer there, destroyer there, destroyer there, destroyer there, cruiser there, cruiser there. There is an air wing on board of Hornets, but they are nominal, obviously. They won't be doing anything for today, guys. Let's have a look at some data sheets just so you know what the ships are equipped with. The destroyers will be Arleigh Burke Flight Three, they will be equipped with, and this is critical for today, ESSM, 64 of them, SM2, 32, that's a relatively late block, SM6, block 1, 32 of them, SM3, critical for today, naval anti-ballistic missile, missile, 8 of them. And the cruisers will be Ticonderoga CMPs, each with 64 ESSMs, 32 SM2, 56 SM6, and also 8 SM3. The SM3 being really expensive, I think about $12 million per pop. And we'll start with just three launches and we'll work our way up. Guys, I've not tried this myself because I don't want to know the result. What I have tried is to check that these missiles do actually work and I've made them hit the ships by removing the defense of the ships and I've now put the defense of the ships back on. Guys, before we press go, I think we'll have a quick prediction. At which point do we think the amount of missiles will overwhelm the defense of the Americans? At some point, it will overwhelm it, but I don't know how many. 25. 25. Took to overwhelm the, uh, I think, the store. Yeah, the Guam. Poosh. I think it's more like 60, 70, somewhere in there. Wow, 60, 70, 65. Uh, fire. Uh, I really don't know. I don't know, 40? Oh, I'm going to go cap. I'm going to go 15, 1, 5. I don't know. That's it. Three won't get through or very unlikely to get through viewers, but I just want to check that everything's up and working. Right, erection giggity. Uh, each missile is a two-stage missile with a single terminal re-entry vehicle. Max speed about, about Mach 10 in real life and as modelled with us. In real life they go really high, about a million feet apparently. Arms can't quite do that, it gets to about 300,000 feet maximum, but that's still plenty high to show off what we need to show off today. Models by CH, uh, that's about it. Stand by. Yeah, in DCS, there's a limitation with missiles now at 320-ish thousand feet, yeah. 100 kilometers. That's still reaching the edge of space, so I think it's good enough for what we need to do. I wonder how high they would actually go for a shot like this. I mean, this is a very low-range shot. This missile can go 2,500 miles. Wee! But we're only doing 200 miles today. Yeah, and the shorter the shot, the higher it goes. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah. I assumed it would go lower, but right. Okay. Well, if you think of a parabola where it has to take the same mm. I guess same it's, it's burning the same amount of fuel each time, so it's going to get to that speed. So I guess, yeah, so it's going to loop up really high. Okay, 80,000 yeah, feet. I can't turn off a solid fuel booster once you light it. Yeah. Three of them fired cost equivalent $63 million so far. Both models that we've modelled, uh, or had modelled for us, DF-26B and uh, DF-21D, are anti-ship, can hit moving ships. How they do that, well, that's a bit of a mystery, really, but they have onboard sensors and they also use satellite navigation. Right, 120 miles to go. When will the car carrier group respond? They'll start probably with SM-3, which can fire all the way up to, well, pretty much this height. There we go. Missiles out, and they are SM-3. Two-piece missiles also for extended range. Up they go. We have nine SM3s, ten SM3s. Check on the DFs. Still well out of visibility. We're so high. SM3s, 200,000 feet. Do a similar job to FAD in terms of anti-ballistic defense now. Are we going to get any hits is the question. 
Oh, one down. SM3 doing well. Two. Oh, didn't blow up. Two down. Three down. Easy. Oh, all right. I don't think any of us are very surprised about that. Ten SM3s destroyed three ballistic missiles. Let's up the game. Simba's just joined us. Simba, have a guess. How many ballistic missiles do you think would be need to beat a US carrier group? FYI, we don't know the answer. We haven't got this far yet. Around 200. 200? Well, it sounds high, but you might be right. Let's see. Uh, we are now on nine viewers. The same missile, DF-26B. Oh, maybe more like 100. Maybe more like 100. Roger. I mean, I might not actually be able to test that high, but we'll see. We'll see what the computer can cope with. We'll have to uh, get hire a supercomputer to test. Yeah, yeah, right. The difficulty modeling it, it is viewers is that the missiles move very fast and so you need a really super super fast processor to not miss any vital processes if that kind of makes sense 50 60 70 80 90 100 200,000 feet I don't feel bad about my guess now Wait what was your guess it was 65 65 well we'll see we'll see I don't know just don't know right SM3 4 SM3 why do they fire so many missiles, viewers? It's redundancy. It's safety. Look at that. Amazing. Right, here we go. What kind of PK are we going to get? Re-entry vehicles entering back into uh, atmosphere. 21. 22 SM3s. SM6 is coming out now. Six SM6s is coming out. Once they, these have uh, got below 200,000 feet, SM6s will start coming out. Look at that. 34, 10 SM6 is out. Three! Oh, God! Two have got through and have made it into SM6 range. That's just the next layer of defense, viewers. The whole idea is you have layers of anti ballistic defense. Hit and done. Dealt with. Woo! They got a little bit closer. Sorry, I should have explained at the beginning, viewers. The top layer of defense is the SM3, which goes up to whatever it is, 500,000 feet. The SM6 goes up next, I think, to 200,000 feet. Sorry if I've got that wrong. Then the SM2 goes up, then the ESSM goes up, and you've got SeaWiz for within one mile. Uh, right, well, it taxed them, but none got through. Let's up the ante again. Yeah, the SM3, I think, actually will go up to like 240 miles. Right, 15 viewers. Huh, it's quite impressive. Two hundred thousand feet. Right, that's a third of a billion dollars worth of uh, ballistic missile in the air. First Sam's up. First Sam's up already. Those SM threes got up so fast. Nine out. Eleven out. Look at their weird trajectory, viewers. Like straight up. Better to spend a billion dollars to stop it than to lose a $14, 15000000000 billion dollar yeah, carrier. Yeah, you just have to do it, don't you? And the 6,000 lives on board. Look at fire, caring about lives. You do care about lives, don't you? 42 missiles out. SM6s are firing out. We're below 200,000 feet or approaching there. One intercepted, two intercepted, three intercepted. I will cut to the map, viewers, don't worry. 57 American missiles out. 22 SM6, 35 SM3, which is probably as many as they have. Oh, ho, 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 ho. who said 15? It was, oh, it was me. Damn it. Right, well, I've lost. All right, guys. 58 missiles well, fired, all 15 destroyed. That was interesting that uh, the previous iteration with nine needed SM, uh, mm -hmm. the lower layer to take some out. And that one, well, they all got taken out by the higher layer. It's probably, uh, you know what? I don't know why, but yep, interesting observation. Right, guys, we're going up to 18 now. Sam's out. Up they go. Big defense. Imagine being on a ship and an SM3 shoots out. Whoosh. 32. Half a billion's worth. Right, here we go, viewers. 18. 18. Ballistic missiles. Time on target. As best you could possibly shoot them. You probably couldn't shoot them this good in real life in terms of time on target. But let's make this as hard for the US as we can. All right, those SM3s are brilliant. SM2s are coming out. Pause. So the SM3s did admirably. They took 12 out, something like that. A few more got through. So SM6 has been fired, but they can't wait any further. So they've already got to start putting the next layer out, the SM2s, because reaction times are so tight. And it's not long before the ESSMs are going to start coming out. Right, we're going to get much closer this time. We're down to 170,000 feet, about Mark 8. Another intercepted. 18. Is 18 going to get through? Ooh, a little batch down the south here. 
What about that one? Hit. What about this one? There's two of them. That's going to confuse it. Oh, 18 destroyed. And they got at 10 miles. So we're, we're getting closer, guys. Right. I reckon Dark's going to be right at 25, but we'll see, guys. Uh, oh, God, I've lost count. 21? Yes, 21. sir. Right, 21. Perfectly fired time on target missiles. So none of them had water in them, is what you're saying. None of them had water in them. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yeah. Where was, what was the water thing? Was that about the warhead, or was that about the propellant? The propellant. Uh, yeah. I was reading an interesting article about how a... Uh, Ukrainian S-200 missile shot down a friendly freighter or airliner by accident because of water ingress into the missile. Right, here we go. And the U.S. defense comes into view. Look at that. Do not mess with the U.S. 71, uh, 70, oh God, it's going up too much. 76, 77 defensive missiles out at a cost of a third of a billion. Oh, uh, wham. Okay. SM2, all three layers are out now. When they're grouped together like that, I do worry about that. Well done. A little bit closer. 10 miles rather than 12 miles. Right, let's keep going, guys. Let's keep pushing it. What are the size of the warheads on those things? I actually don't know. The, the, these models are not nuclear. These are, I think, uh, conventional. Uh, and your guess is as good as mine, Poosh. I want to say 500 kilograms, but it might be yeah, uh, yeah, maybe Somewhere in that range, I think. I mean, a lot of the damage is probably just done by the, the missile. Yeah. I was thinking about that because you were talking about water, and I was thinking, well, if the warhead's not in the missile, it doesn't really matter. It's going gonna, it's gonna to punch through a ship, whatever, isn't it? So I just did a quick look, and I was thinking of the DF-21. The DF-26 is 12 to 1,500 kilograms. Kilograms, right. So, yeah, that's a decent sized warhead. Taking out infrastructure or, no, well, taking out a carrier, really, I suppose, isn't it? 83 defensive missiles fired. Layer 3 is firing. That's just extremely impressive. Bear in mind the speed of these things. They're coming in at Mark 8 viewers. They get slower when they get lower, obviously, they get, they get down to Mark 6, but it's still bloody fast. Wow, there's a miss. Oh, 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 24 down. They got, wait for it. Front of that range ring there. Seven miles, seven miles. Right. Let's keep pushing it, guys. I reiterate, viewers, this is the worst case scenario where they could fire them all perfectly together, which you just wouldn't really be able to do in real life. But I mean, theoretically, this is the only way it's really going to work that well, because if they're more spaced out, mm. the computations to, to try to threat. calculate them, it yeah. wouldn't be as much of yeah. a threat at all. Yeah, as as we've always proved, uh, the most dangerous salvos are packed together. But imagine trying to fire these ballistic missiles to the nearest few seconds. It would be, well, I don't know. You tell me. The swarm wins. I shouldn't imagine it would be very easy. Yeah, that's the whole idea. It's always been the idea. Swarm. The swarm does win. Imagine the US would really like it if they parked them all that close together as well. <laughs> right. One jazz and would take them all out. Up to go again. Getting used to this site now. 36 defensive missiles out. The cost of half a billion dollars. That's the first layer. Second layer, SM6 is now. Over half a billion dollars. Interceptions being made. Third layer of defense. SM2 out. 80 defensive missiles. 90 defensive missiles. Are we going to get to layer 4 for the first time? Ooh, 93 defensive missiles. And we're getting... Ooh, this looks dangerous, guys. When will the Sea Wiz fire? Pause. Look how much slower these missiles are than the SM3. The SM3 are going up high, but it's going real fast. Like Mark 6, 7, 8. These are much slower. Will the Sea Wiz fire? Yep. Yeah. I'm not sure at that high speed of uh, attack wow. that they'll be able to get in there. Seven miles again. All right. We'll just keep going, guys. It almost seems like the SM6, although they're slower, have a little bit higher PK. Yeah. Well, the trajectory is pretty much stabilized at that point. It's kind of what I was just thinking, too. Right. 30. Time on target. DF-26 Bravos. 11 missiles out. Layer 1. Layer 2 firing. SM-6. 70 missiles fired. 
80 missiles fired. 0.7 billion used. 90, 100 missiles fired. Lay it well into layer three now. Over 100 miss missiles fired. Oh, we're getting close here. We're going straight down on top of them. Look, there's a stall. There's a stall. All the firing channels are used up. Come on, hit, 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 hit. SM2? You oh, oh, oh. SM2 for SM2, old missile. Six miles, right. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, right. So what are we on now? 33? Yes, 33. At some point, I'm going to worry about my computer not being able to model with the interceptions well enough in time. That's my main concern now. 0.7 billion of uh df26 is fired what did we say was the total number of missiles this little carrier this little uh, group has absolute total number yeah between uh, some sixes threes and twos more than they could ever use i'll work it out roughly now it's about 100 a ship so well, it's less 600 missiles we'll never fire that many oh, okay you just haven't got enough time to get that many in the air there's each um ship has a set number of firing channels as per real life and that's how many missiles it can support at one time. And, and due to the speed of the incoming missile, we just wouldn't have enough firing channels. So that will be the finite edge, at which point the defense will just stop. Layer 1 fired, 46 SM3 missiles. Layer 2 firing. Uh, SM6. It's a lot of the north. It's a lot oh, of the north. Yeah. Come on, come on, hit him, hit him. Relying on uh, layer three SM2. Oh, lots of, oh, wowie, we got, or China got five miles. It's getting there, it's getting there. 36, and a cost of three quarters of a billion US dollars. Layer 1, SM3 in the air. 44 missiles fired. 45, 46. Layer 2, SM6 firing. Total, 60 missiles, 70 missiles, 80 missiles, 90 missiles. Layer 3 starting, SM2, uh, 100 missiles, 110 missiles. Right on top of the carrier group now. 134 missiles fired. Oh, smash with ease. Wow. I guess I'm going too easy on them. Well, let's do 40 and then we'll start jumping up in bigger increments then, guys. What do we think they're using for terminal targeting? Right. So it uses the satellite to get roughly into position. And then it uses uh, image. It can't use a radar because radar doesn't actually work. Um, at these speeds uh, for reasons I don't really understand. So you have to use uh, optical imaging. So it's got basically a glorified T-pod on the front and or an IR sensor, same thing really. Uh, and it finds it that way. Now, can it be accurate like that? Can it determine between different ships and stuff like that? Absolutely no idea. What if there's a cloud in the way? That would surely stop it working. So how good these actually are in real life, we'll probably never know, but we're assuming you know, worst case scenario, let's just assume that they're very good and can work very well somehow. So I think the one of the definitions of hypersonic is when the, it's going so fast that it uh, interacts and changes the, the air around it to a plasma. Right. And a radar cannot emit through that. Yeah, that's yeah. always been, that's always been an issue issue with uh, re-entry re vehicles, excuse me, from, uh, you know, even ballistic regular pistolistic right. missiles. So it could turn out that these are really just glorified scuds and it could only hit roughly near a target. Now that's fine if they had nuclear payloads, but obviously people aren't really going to be chucking nuclear payloads at each other. So are they actually any use in conventional format? Again, we'll probably never know, but there's a chance they might not be any use at all because you need to be obviously pinpoint accurate for it to be useful. Uh, bearing in mind, these are really expensive weapons as well for China. Right. Pretty impressive. Wow, that was easier than the last time. 40 missiles destroyed, no problem. 143 missiles fired out. Right, viewers, this is obviously going to be easier than I thought for America, certainly to my surprise. So we're going to start pumping the numbers up here. There we go, 49 DF-26s, viewers, at a cost of probably over a billion dollars equivalent. 49 ballistic missiles, 48, sorry, ballistic missiles. First layer of American defense in view, SM-6s, 46. 
46, 49 of them. Layer 2 firing, SM6. Total, 61 defensive missiles, 64 defensive missiles, 70 defensive missiles, 80 defensive missiles, 90, 100 defensive missiles, 110 defensive missiles, 120, 130, oh, 140 defensive missiles, 150 defensive missiles, layer one depleted, layer two nearly depleted, layer three, e layer four, pause, layer four is out, finally, look at that, look at the scoreboards, what I'm reading from, viewers, we've now got layer one depleted, SM3, layer two depleted, SM6, layer three semi-depleted, SM2, and finally, if you can see one in here somewhere, uh, layer four has started firing, that means they're really starting to panic when layer four starts to fire, I can't see it, but there'll be an, there's one, ESSM, close range only, whoa, look at that, highly maneuverable, Low range missile. Thrust vectored. 170 defensive missiles fired. Let's try and. Just, this is not very sexy, but it's the best way of viewing viewers for science. <gasps> They've done it! 168 defensive missiles fired from 48 defeated, and all five layers, sorry, all four layers of the anti ballistic missile defense used there. Exceptional, exceptional. I'm running out of space. Right, more, as my baby would say. Well, viewers, this is getting rather on the edge of the seat stuff, so I was wrong, Dark is wrong, Fire is wrong, Poosh at 65 is the next target. Feel better about my guess yeah, now. Yeah, I, I thought you were going to be ways off. Alrighty then. <laughs> They're definitely getting through, guys. I can feel it. I don't know. There are a lot of missiles left over yeah, after that know, last yeah, sortie. I'm about to hit saturation. 1.2 yeah. billion. Yeah, when I've done this stuff before, ESSM is when things are like, oh, crap, we're going to die. Just push the everything button. I think in this group, we may actually see the ESSMs have to actually get hits. Yeah. That was just so good. I had to look. Oh my god, did anything get hit? They didn't get through. They didn't get through, but they were pretty much in Sea Wiz range at that point, right above the ships, weren't they? Rims came out. Rims. Oh my god, look. Go back to wow. the 1980s. Jesus. And old, these are old missiles fired by um, carriers. What are they called? I forgot what they're called. But yeah, look at that. Amazing. 57. Right. Ooh. 66. It's getting through next. It's getting through. 66 right there. Right. 66, the magic number. This is getting stupid now. I think 69 might be the magic <laughs> 69 number. 69 might be the magic number. Lollicopter. I see what you did there. Look at that, viewers. Uh, what was it? 66. 66. Big chunk of chunk of erectors. Sixty-six. And the problem we've got now, viewers, is, I don't know if you can see it, but I can start to see my computer start to struggle. It's starting to chug. Now, the problem with that is it starts to miss processes, and that could jeopardize the American defense. So what you're saying is don't put America's Navy missile defense on your computer? Uh, I mean, they can if they want, but, yeah, maybe don't. Maybe buy their own. Oh yeah, they've got through. Do you think? Let's go into super slow mo, viewers. Super slow mo. Oh yeah, there's one on the top that are already not getting shot yeah. at. They've got through. Look at that, straight down on top of it. We'll try. Yeah, see whiz can't aim that high up. Oh, we'll see oh yeah. Yeah. 
There it goes. Um, all right. Right, we can try one more thing, viewers, which is a slight... I can kind of control how the Americans fire. Only a tiny bit I can control, but I just want to try one more configuration. All right, viewers, it's 66 again. This time, the ships will look the same, but we've told them to fire more of their missiles at the beginning than at the end. It may work better, it may work worse. So, by asking them to fire more at the beginning, we've just beaten 66. Oh, yeah. Bring it on. I just watch it through. Oh, no, one got through. One got through. Nine, nine, nine. No, I don't think we've done it. Yeah. yeah. Suck it. Woo. 277 missiles fired. Game's back on, boys. All right, let's go. So, what do you yep. want to go up to now? Another nine in? 75. Well, I know I keep saying it, viewers, but it's getting just stupid now. It's just getting stupid. You're just being stupid now. Don't tell me it's gonna. No, 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 no. It's, it's, it's making it through. It's making it through. It's too many. You know what? Even to get to 75, even. Of course. Ooh. Even to get to seven. Oh, it's dead, yes. I mean, it hasn't destroyed the carrier group. It's only destroyed one cruiser, which is. Yeah. I know it sounds stupid, but that's kind of what it's there for to save the. Save the carrier. Are the cruisers both at the front? Yeah. It's not going to make a huge difference which one's the place where, though, to be honest. Oh, I heard a... a, a you can hear it, but Seawiz went off. <laughs> so, I think we'll probably... I mean, there's, we can make various little tweaks, and we can move stuff about, and we can do that all day, but I think we've pushed it as far as we really want to go. What we found is that, generally speaking, missiles are going to start getting through. If I configure these... Uh, ships as I have here, which is just probably just about optimal. About 75 is when it's going to start leaking. Bearing in mind, perfectly time on target fired missiles really is quite amazing. You guys are going to ask, say, what firing them from different directions? I've actually found in almost every case of every weapon, firing them from the same direction against Aegis is actually harder for Aegis because they actually start blocking each other's radar returns. Whereas if you fire them omnidirectional, uh, you know, all, all, all around, I mean. Um, it actually becomes easier for ages. So this is probably as hard as we can possibly make it. I guessed 15 missiles and it ended up being 75. Uh, Simba guessed 100, Push guessed 65. So they were both, you know, closest. Does it matter to real life? Not really. But does it matter to our modeling in DCS? Yeah, I think that's probably, you know, moderately near what you would find in real life. But you guys' thoughts? Well, we used to, you know, war game. Uh, the models we used there were not as sophisticated as DCS. So it's probably reflects reality a little bit better. All right, viewers, put the credits in. CH, uh, Dark also had a hand in getting some of these missiles to work. So great work, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that and bye-bye.